I concentrate on the complex spell work, my fingers weaving through the air with precision as I try to harness the shadows surrounding me. Sighs. This is not an easy task, but I must prove myself worthy of my mother's divine favor. The widow goddess watches me intensely, her eyes like cold silver daggers that seem to pierce my very soul. Whispers softly. Focus, Madhu. You have much to learn. Her words drive me to push through the exhaustion and frustration. The air in this chamber is heavy with darkness, a testament to our shared power over shadow. She guides my hands with gentle but firm touches, never letting me falter under the weight of her expectations. Pauses briefly. You must master this spell, daughter. It will be crucial in the times to come. I feel a surge of determination course through me and my movements become more fluid and confident. Shadows twist and bend at my command, forming intricate patterns that dance across the chamber walls. With each successful weave, I sense a growing strength within myself, an empowerment bestowed by my divine lineage. Good, she remarks with a hint of pride in her voice but remains enigmatic about what challenges lie ahead. Thinks. Why does she withhold information? Is it just another test? As we continue our practice session together, I find myself growing closer to unleashing the full potential of my shadow magic. Indeed, it is intoxicating. The way pure darkness envelops me like a cloak of safety and illusion. The hours tick by unnoticed as I diligently follow her guidance, mastering each new spell cast before me. By the end of our session, sweat glistens on my brow and muscles tremble with exertion. Yet none of those sensations compare to the satisfaction that swells within me as I finally bring forth a mighty torrent of darkness under my command. My mother regards me with a cryptic smile, and then sighs. You are indeed a powerful spellcaster, Madhu, but there is much more to your future than conjuring shadows. Prepare yourself, for what lies ahead will test not only your magical prowess, but also your cunning and political skill. Her words shroud me in a veil of unease, a looming sense of foreboding that cannot be brushed aside. Whispers. What do you mean, Mother? Tell me what you foresee. Your ascension to power in our society will not be without conflict, the Widow Goddess warns. Betrayal and treachery will accompany each step you take. You must stay vigilant and trust no one fully, friend or foe. Ponders. Is this cruel twist of fate simply due to my heritage, or do my enemies truly conspire against me? She leans in close, her regal features framed by cascading blue hair. Trust in your instincts, Mardu. Her voice is soft but cold, like an echo from the abyss. I will provide guidance when it is needed, however much of the oncoming challenges must be faced on your own. The weight of her prophecy leaves me breathless and shaken to the core. Nonetheless, I nod my understanding and prepare myself for the uncertain journey before me. So be it then. I shall face these trials head on and stand victorious above those who dare to challenge my rightful place in this twisted world. As both Drow Warlock and daughter of the Widow Goddess herself, I shall prove myself worthy of her prophecy and her love. But until then, I must hone my skills further under careful watch of my Divine Mother for there is much more power yet to be drawn from the eternal shadows that I now hold within my grasp.